Hello, welcome to Liquid Problem Solving, and today's problem will be 724 Find Pivot Index. The problem statement is given an array of integer nums, calculate the pivot index of this array. And the pivot statement's definition is the pivot, uh, pivot index is the index where the sum of all the numbers strictly to the left. And let me give emphasis on this word strictly, and I'll explain what that means. To the left of the index is equal to the sum of all the numbers strictly to the index right. If the index on the left edge of an array, left sum is zero because there are no elements to the left. And the if we do not get such index, we will return minus one. Let's check the example for better understanding. So here's a given array one seven three six five six. So we will be going. Let me just show you what this word strictly to the left of the index means strictly to the left means let's say our pivot index is 3 then strictly to the left will mean 1 and 7 and strictly to the right will mean this to this we were taking this as an example that's not actually our answer so let's undo this okay that should be so let's check the example test case so here 173656 so first we will be on the first index that is zero let me show you the algorithm for this so we'll be taking a integer value l which will be storing our left indexes sum and we'll be initializing it to zero okay this is zero right and another value called sum which will be storing the total summation of the array so we will take and for loop and we'll just add all the elements and store it in sum for this case the sum will be equals to 28 so the sum is equals to 28 for this problem let's just move on to the problem so first we are on index 0 so to the left there are no elements and this is our pivot index for right now and to the right we have these elements and to the left we do not have any ele elements so the pivot sum to the right will be this excluding this from our total sum so we will keep our total sum 28 minus 1 which is 27 so this our current sum value and what is our next index the next index is 7 when we move to the next index we will add our prefix sum that is the previous value sum so the previous value here was 1 so our current prefix sum or l sum here is 1 and we are on index 1 so we will add these elements or these will be our right sum of our array so we have to subtract this from our total sum right now the total sum right now was 27 so we'll decrease the array not the array the sums value and the sums value will be 0 this will be 20 so the current value on index 1 will be for right sum 20 and for left sum it will be 1 so now we move on to next element that is 3 so the prefix sum for the index 0 1 2 will be 7 plus 1 8 that is 8 so the prefix sum will be 8 right now and the prefix sum of the right elements will be 6 plus 6 12 plus 5 that will be 17 and we will subtract this to get our subtract 3 from here so we'll get our right index sum that is 17 this is 17 now we move on to the next part that is the element 6 or the index 0 1 2 3 our index 3 at index 3 our sum is 7 plus 3 10 and 11 
So our left sum value is 11 right now. This is the L sum. L sum. And uh, so as we are in the index 0, 1, 2, 3, and we need to find out the right elements sum. So we will subtract this from our sum value. So this will 17 minus 6 will give me 11. So as we can see, the L sum value and the R sum values are same. These two are same. So we will return the index that is I. And in this case, our index will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So we will be returning 3. As you can see, the output is 3 here. So let's get to the code. I'll just zoom on to it. Code for better. Okay. So what I've done here is I have taken two variables, integer variables, L sum and sum. L sum was to store the prefix sum of the array and the sum is to store the total sum of the array so l sum and r sum i have taken and i have calculated the total sum of the array this will give me total sum of array then we are iterating over the array our problem array which was this 173656 and after that I have done sum is equals to sum minus nums of i. If I have done this, I'll just explain this again. Since for the first element, I'll just write one here. Since when I am on the first index, this is my first index zero. When I'm standing here, or my when when my pointer is on the first index, to the left I don't have any ele elements. So my L value is zero. That is fine. I don't have to make any changes for that. But on the right side, on the right, to my right, all these elements have a particular sum value. All these numbers will be adding to a particular sum. But I do not have to include the number 1 or the index 0's value in my sum. So I have to decrease the value of the position where I am standing. So 28 minus 1 will give me 27. So this is my right value or the right sum for the index 0. So this will be just checking for the value if L sum is equal to sum that is when my left sum and right sum is equal then I'll be just returning the value or the returning the index i or else I'll be just adding the L sum plus nums of i. L, L, L sum plus nums of i does the prefix sum of the values so when i'm at index uh, 2 let me just say when i'm at index 2 my l sum will be 7 plus 1 8 the prefix sum of the consecutive two elements will be 8 for my index 2 and if not will be just returning minus 1 as per the given problem i'll just run this code sorry Sorry for that. I'll just run this code. Okay, that's getting accepted. Let me use the example test cases. The example test cases should run fine too. Okay, that's getting done too. Let me just submit it. And I'll just close this unnecessary tab. I don't know what happened. Okay, the runtime 20 ms which is faster than 82.56%. So yes, thank you for watching.